Hello YouTube and welcome back to my playthrough of Saints Row. On this part, we're continuing from where we left off and we're gonna probably finish up the Vice King storyline on this part. And if you guys enjoy this series, please do drop a like because it does help this series out a lot. Where's Gat? Fuck! Listen carefully, player. Benjamin King just called. It seems like one of his boys got a big head and tried to take him out. He's pinned down in the park right now and needs some help. Now what happens to King may not mean shit to you, but him and me, we got history. I owe King from way back in the day, and he ain't gonna eat it if I can help it. You're gonna go out there and save his ass. Understand? I ain't fucking around, player. You bring King back here safe, you feel me? So Tanya and Warren have basically staged a coup against um, uh, Benjamin King to take over the Vice Kings. And um, uh, and Warren um, uh, Warren thinks he's so smart, but if he actually had listened to King, then um, uh, they would have been able to do some serious damage to the Saints. But um, I need some transportation right now. Um, wow, I don't got a car right now anywhere. Okay, here we go. I, I don't have insurance, asshole! Okay, King King is um dying, so we gotta go over there and save him. And now the reason that Julius wants you to save King, um, even though he's the leader of the rival gang, the Vice Kings, is because Julius and King actually grew up together. And um in the nineteen seventies um, they actually both founded the Vice Kings. So the Vice Kings were founded by Benjamin King, and Julius was actually originally his second in command. And um, what happened was Julius actually became alienated with the Vice Kings. So both Julius and um, uh, and um, Benjamin King grew, grew up in Sunnyvale. And um, Julius doesn't acknowledge that really. He pretends like he's from Saints Row, but he's really from Sunnyvale. And so he formed the Saints um, uh, against the Vice Kings. So Julius and Benjamin King go back. Okay, so now here we go. King is pinned down. Let's go save him. And also, uh, Benjamin King is one of the best Saints Row characters. Got the AK-47 on this. So you're the kid Julius said, huh? Go to King's car. Let's get out of here then. A lot of guys here. Clear a path. Okay, got a mag and a half left in the AK. Okay, there's Ben King's car. Okay, now we're gonna take out some of the Vice Kings, the Betrayed King. Oh great, I got no more ammo left in the F SMG, okay. Okay, now if you take out enough of the Vice Kings, Warren shows up. I'm in it's three cars are taken out already. Warren's gotta be around here. There's somewhere. Warren. There he is. Drop that bitch. Must be my lucky day. I get to kill both you bitches. Damn, I should have brought some SMG ammo for this. No one's gonna step to easy, but You should have died in the boardroom, King. It would have saved us all some time. Keep it up, player, and we might make it out of here. Okay. Yep, got half of Warren's health down, but damn, he's driving through 
City Hall Park, like... Okay, he's smoking. There we go. So long, Warren. Thanks for your help, son. Now, you take me to Julius. Oh, that's it for Warren, or is it? Next one's for you, assholes! Yeah! Let's go! Man, I miss the old Saints Row so much. Oh my god, this game was such a big part of my childhood. I know I talk about it a lot in these videos, but I just I just really think the old Saints Row games were the best ones when it was actually about gangsters. There we go. This is one of my favorite cutscenes now. Hey, baby. The fuck you stand around for? Give me a fucking hand! Little nigga, huh? It's okay who little nigga is. His motherfucking ass is mine. Hey, yo, Tanya! What's going on? You're a bright boy. I'm sure you can figure it out. Bitch, you better not miss, cause if... Thanks for the advice. That's how much of an idiot Warren was, so you see? King would have never betrayed Warren, but um, Warren betrayed King. And that's, um, uh, and, and so he paid the consequences. He plotted with Tanya. Tanya was using Warren. She manipulated Warren into, um, uh, oh, trying to overthrow King. And so she could take over the Vice King. So Tanya was the whole mastermind here. And yes, Tanya is is voiced by the same voice actress that voices Meg in Family Guy. So Meg just killed um, Warren. Looking good, Ben. Been a long time, Jules. Sorry about Anthony. That was business. Let it go. So what's the plan? We kill Tanya, and I get back to business. I don't think so, Benjamin. What? I said no. You alive, we straight. But the Vice Kings? They're through. Then kill me. Quit wasting my goddamn time. Well, you got a choice. You can keep your fucking pride and die right now. Or you can be a man and walk away. <laughs> when did you get the balls, Jules? What's it gonna be? I ain't walking away. Fair enough. Johnny? I ain't walking away until I deal with Tanya. My nigga. Johnny, put the damn gun down. Now you understand, this ain't just about Tanya, right? We finishing the whole crew. Yeah, I know. So let's get to it. Plan? I know where all them fools hang. All we gotta do is roll up there, get their attention, then lead them to the cops. They'll take care of the rest. All right, player. You gonna be Mr. King's wheel man. You ready for this, son? Let's go. Good to have you back, Benjamin. Alright, let's get this shit started right. One of the safe houses is at the north end of town. So basically, um, uh, Ben King knows where a lot of the Vice Kings hang out, and he still has some cops on his payroll. And so we're basically gonna lead the Vice so Kings Julius into a trap. Julius ever growing up in Sunnyvale? No, he doesn't. Julius pretends like he's from Saints Row. What? You thought he was from the Row? The problem with bearing the past is that you forget about it. You know what I'm saying? I bet Julius gave you the whole, I don't care what flags are flying speech, didn't he? I wrote that shit years ago, and the motherfucker still hadn't forgotten it. So you see that original speech that Julius gave? You're easy to talk to, you ben know King that? Ben King was the one who said it. I don't gotta worry about you interrupting me or any of that bullshit. That was Warren's problem. That motherfucker never knew when to shut up and just listen. You, came real close to me. you know that even if you wipe out the Vice Kings, it ain't gonna be over, right? There's always someone looking to take what you have. Some punk wants to make a name for himself. 
Some girl you fucked and never called back. Yeah, <laughs> I think that pissed him off. Now let's lead him right to the police. Okay, we just gotta lead them to the police ambush now. Stay the hell away! You trying to make my wife a widow? Okay, we can't get too far ahead. We want them to chase us still. And Ben King isn't even shooting at them. You know, this should be a sign that you're being led into a trap. And so the corrupt cops just dealt with them. Okay, next group we're gonna wipe out. So far, so good, player. Let's roll downtown and deal with the bitches there. This reminds me a lot of that mission in GTA 3 where you're um, uh, working with the Yakuza and just leading the Colombian cartel into a trap. So yeah, these gangsters that follow you, they're pretty stupid. Um, uh, because if somebody like, you know, pulls up, shoots at you and then drives away, and then you're chasing them and they're actually driving kind of slow, letting you catch up. And on top of that, they're also not shooting back at you when they're um, uh, when you're chasing them that's all the signs that you're being led into a trap but these guys are so stupid they're so focused on killing you um, they don't realize that okay we got their attention time for the 5-0 to finish the job okay got to make a u-turn here i should have let gat put a bullet in my head at least that would be quick Just let him chase us. Back up a little bit here. again. Wow, boom. That's it for them. Last one. <laughs> Let's hope our luck holds out. King's car is pretty strong on this, too. He's his, I like his SUV a lot. It's pretty, it's pretty armored, and it's also pretty fast. This is the last crew player. Let's finish this. Okay, how far is this police ambush? Okay. Not that far. Okay, let's do it then. Slow down a little bit here, let him catch up. And here we go. Goodbye to the last uh, one. Boom. Way to go, son. It's a shame Julius found you first. We could have owned this town. Okay, let's start doing some of these strongholds that we gotta clear out. Now the thing is though, is that what Ben King there said was absolutely right. It's just, it's just complete luck that the Saints were the ones who actually found the, the playa. Because the playa is actually the main character, so that's what he's called the playa. Um, uh, but in Saints Row 2 he's called the boss. But um, uh, after Saint, yeah, Saints Row 1 he's just the playa, and then afterwards Saints Row 2, 3, and 4 he's the boss. But um, 
Uh, yeah, so whatever gang recruited the playa, whether it be the Carnales, the, uh... The Kings are trying to take back Atlantis Avenue! We need your help! My wife was... Okay, Atlantis Avenue is under attack. Let's get over there then. So whatever gang would have found the playa would be the gangs that end up controlling Stillwater. Okay, three lieutenants left here. Take down. There we go, we saved the neighborhood. Another stronghold here. So like I said in the previous part, strongholds are basically like gang fortresses. A lot of ZKs have been seen going in and out of a grocery store. I don't think those motherfuckers are buying 1%, so go over there and figure out what's going on. So this is, um, this is Benjamin King's, um, attempt at doing some, um, uh, legitimate business interests. So he wanted to, um, uh, he wanted to buy a chain of grocery stores. That's what he started up, King's Grocery. And I'm trying to remember exactly what the, um, what, if the grocery stores were a front for anything, I'm trying to remember. Okay, elite. I'm asking for a raise. Okay. I guess it's this this way to get in. Okay, here's how we get in. Okay, we got the Mac 10. Kill all the Vice Kings. I'm done fucking around. You really want to get now? This is why it's good to carry around food, because food is um uh food does heal you. Understand me? And so, you know, the funny thing is, you got a lot of people that always say that Saints Row copies GTA, but in Saints Row, you can actually carry around food and it'll actually heal you. So the GTA Online copy Saints Row, huh? I know that you can, um, uh, I know that you, you could have eaten food in San Andreas, I know that, but you couldn't really carry it around with you. And so in Saints Row, you can carry it around and it'll actually, um, heal you when you eat it. So they did that before G GTA Online, but yet you have so many, you know, people that say, oh, you know, Saints Row is a GTA clone. They, they never even played the game themselves. Okay, we got another stronghold here. Let's see what this place is about. Fillmore Parking Garage. A bunch of King's bookies are meeting at a parking garage to discuss rigging games. Don't let any of them walk away from the meeting. No one fucks with my hockey game. So basically, they're talk rigging a game. What they're talking about is, um, uh, they're talking about, um, uh, manipulating the hockey game so they're on bets. I'm assuming by rigging they mean manip- they mean scaring players into losing. And so the Saints are also, um, uh, betting money on those games. This is our town! You got the ball! We got you for the we me? Yeah, this shotgun is definitely great at taking out cars. Okay, and here's a little bit of a tip. A lot of people don't realize this in games, guys. But it's not just for Saints Row, it's for multiple games. When you are when you have, like, specific targets or objectives in, like, a game, and you see, like, a square or a triangle, the square means that, that the thing is, um, uh, it means that the, um, uh, that the, the target or, um, vehicle is on the same level as you. So when you see a square like that on the map, it means it's on the same level. When it's a triangle, it means it's another level. Cars left five, but I only see three on the map right now. Let 
you pull any of that shit in our hood. Ah! You can't drop this thing, uh -huh. bitch. Oh, what do we got here? We got some grenades. I didn't even realize we had these. Where did we get these? Okay. Huh? Fire in the hole, then. Okay. I have some food here, too. I need you guys over here. Three cars left, but I only see two right now. Oh, this is gonna be good. Let's blow all this up. Fire in the hole. Guess the grenade went over the rail then. There we go. One car left. Where is it? One more Vice King on the rooftop. Okay. What? Oh, they're getting away. Where where did this car come from? Okay. Whoa! Okay, they're going over the ramp. I can't and I gotta to keep up with that car with this little thing. Damn. They give you like the worst car for this chase sequence. I get to see their premiums after that. I can't Why is he going back in the parking garage, okay? Great. Oh no 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 no! Can't see you get out of this breathing. Okay, we're back on him. Damn. Okay, yeah, this I forgot about this mission. How much this mission sucks. Oh my god! So if you don't blow him up quickly, then. There we go. Oh my god, that was ridiculous. Okay, that's it for that stronghold. It's taken. Waterfront rooftop. Some of the Vice Kings have been hiding out near the waterfront. Go in there and send them motherfuckers a message. Bunch of apartment buildings here, okay. You don't think you're walking out of here, do you? Ah! Ah! Your Shit, it's him! Oh! Oh! Me down! Ah! Man, I love this shotgun. Wow, looks like a lot of them up, up here. Ooh, I took two out with one shot. Okay, got four shells left. Let's make them count. Oh, is that an RPG? Yeah, don't mind if I do. Destroy the Vice King patrols. Okay. I'm assuming they're coming this way then. Oh, yeah, they are. Okay, let's see if we can time this right. Nice. Okay, cars left four. Okay, got another car coming. It's a van. Probably a lot of guys in it, too. Damn, where 
they going? Oh, I see. Okay. Cars left three. Got him. Okay. Cars left two. Direct hit. Nice. Okay, one more. That van is probably going to come back. Oh yeah, it's coming back. Okay, it's time this right. Got him. It's not a van with another car. Wow, he really hit the Vice Kings hard there. This is the final stronghold, that abandoned police station once again. The Kings are keeping some of our boys locked up at the old police station. I want you to lead the jailbreak. Okay, so they're holding some saints here. So you thought you were us? Here we come, motherfucker! You think the kings will sit back and let you take what's ours? Okay, we gotta get down to the basement. They can take us down. I'm always ready to roll, dog. You see what my boy did? Bitch, you just begging for it. Fuck yeah. Okay, so now we got some backup with us too. Kill the Vice King leader. Look at that, we got the M4 now here. And there we go, that is the final... That is the final, um, uh, stronghold. The Vice Kings only have one small territory left, that's it. Before they're completely wiped out. Let's do the final mission. You used to look Be bad, careful, but now you just snatched. don't play nice. You met Donnie's Uncle Wong? I've been chatting with King, and it looks like Tanya's takeover didn't sit well with everybody. The Vice Kings are fighting amongst themselves. Now's the time to take them out for good. King said he was gonna come along. I hope he hasn't gone soft. <laughs> Don't ever worry about me, baby boy, because I'm gonna handle mine. All I'm saying is that since you got here, you've been nothing but talk. I've smoked dozens of fools before. I ain't adding to the count unless I have to. Oh, that's just fucking great. I said don't worry about it. I don't want you bitching out when you see your crew. Ain't my crew, son. That's why I'm here, remember? So how about you put your dick away, pick up your gun, and try to keep your knee away from the bullets? <laughs> oh, you heard the cocky son of a bitch. Let's roll. So we're gonna go after Tanya now.
If we want to get to Tanya, we gotta get the code to the elevator. How are we gonna get that? She tells everything to her fashion consultant. He shouldn't be too hard to break. Who is this guy? Some Euro trash motherfucker named Stefan. I hate him already. All the king's men. This is gonna be good now. Who do you think you are barging into Stefan's boutique? Go away. You must be Stefan. Are you blind? Of course I'm Stefan. Now go. Oh, I'm hoping you won't come quietly. Oh, oh! Now you're gonna tell me what I wanna hear. You understand? Drive uh, fast to scare Stefan. Oh. Now this oh. mission... Stefan um, knows about fashion, not about gangs. Ugh. Well, Stefan also knows Tanya, so you better start talking. This oh! mission, uh, I really don't I like don't this part of the anything. mission because you have to How watch out for the I cops. Get in the elevator, constantly smashing into you. Also, what are you doing? I don't like this. This makes me vibrate. Wrong answer. As while you're also, oh, Tanya tells me nothing. I just love her shoes. I talk if I were you. My arms getting a little tired. <laughs> Oh, you and your friend with the awful hair will release Stefan at once! You and your friend with the awful your hair. Your bitch ass better stop talking in third person or I'm gonna drop you on principle. Oh, please, don't hurt my face. I can't look common. I'm so running out of patience, Stefan. This is the annoying part of the mission, how you have you, to- You, you're nothing but a brute. Ah, oh, oh. Watch out for- drive Tell fast and watch out for the Tanya. cops. Oh, 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 why do you hate the beautiful people? Uh, oh. Just tell me the code and I'll let you go. Stefan has done nothing to you. If you let me go, I'll give you 5% off. 5% off. Somebody help Stefan! <laughs> okay, 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 okay. The code is 3131. Please don't hurt Stefan. Thanks for your help. This ain't a strip. This is it, player. Oh, it's the mafia. You sure you ready? King They're the after me. In this car, Still, for not you. paying them back during the truck. Know me, son. That's why I'm worried. Your faith in me is very encouraging. If you I guys like want to know why the, the mafia is after me, because I took a loan from them, because you can actually borrow money from the mafia in this game, and um, they'll come this after you if you don't pay them back. This was a great idea, Ben. No harm, no foul. Ah. Be more careful. Okay, there it is. The first thing we gotta do is clear a path to the elevator. What then? Then we kill Tanya. My kind of plan. You wanna keep resisting arrest? He's still alive? Ah. Mr. Sace, and they got kicked. The hell you going, asshole? Okay, we, let's use that M4 here. This is the last of the Vice Kings. Let's wipe them out once and for all now. You ain't living much more. So why you tell me so I'm gonna die over here? Get right up past This is King's penthouse. Look at this place. There we go, clear the path. This is one of the best cutscenes now the in the game. House. I'm gonna skull fuck that bitch. Hope you don't mind hepatitis. What? So right there, um, uh, a lot of people don't realize that, but the main the main character 
actually talks, or the play I just say, he talks in the final mission of every of um every every gang final mission he talks in. He talks in only four missions in the game: the final Vice King's mission, final Rollers mission, final um Carnales mission, and final mission of the game. It's the Saints, and they got King. They come right to us. These are Tanya's secretaries, and they all have submachine guns. Oh my god. Yep. This cutscene never, like, made sense to me how Tanya's just sitting there. Some guys just never get enough of me. I've had more than my fill, bitch. It's over, girl. You're not gonna be able to fuck your way out of this one. That's cute, sweetie. That's just precious. Please! Please don't! Oh, Tanya. Uh. Do yourself a favor and die with some dignity. Shut up, Meg. That sucks for your car. We better get out of here. The cops will be here soon. You coming, King? All right, let's go. I know what you told Julius and all, but why don't you stick around and roll with us? I'm sure he wouldn't mind having you around. Don't bet on that. You think you can find a way back to the row on your own? Aisha, you know. The pussy calls. You did good in this, son. Here. I don't think I'll be needing these anymore. So there we go. The Vice Kings have been eliminated. That's it. You have unlocked King's penthouse as a crib. You have unlocked Johnny's car. You have unlocked the Vice King's cars. So that's the thing is that um, uh, when you eliminate a gang, you actually get the boss's um, penthouse, which is actually really cool. Um, so this is now the penthouse. Let me show you guys. So now we get King's penthouse. So this was King's um, place before. Look at this place. You can't customize it. In Saints Row 2, you can customize your cribs, but it's still a really nice place. And the living room is nice. Massive TV. Stereo system. Got our gun locker here. Um, okay, we got some... Yep, and we got ammo now. I still don't have the assault rifles inside there, but... The bedroom, we've been in there. Kitchen, let's see how much money. Got two grand in the safe. And so yeah, this whole penthouse is now ours. Um, uh, I don't think there's really anything to do down here though on these lower levels. Yeah. The upper levels are just pretty much the penthouse, but um, that's it pretty much there. So, um, uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed this part. On the next part, we're gonna start the Los Carnales story. Or I just, I just did it again. It's not the Los Carnales, it's the Carnales, but I said it wrong again. But, um, uh, thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoy this series, please do drop a like, because it does help the series out a lot. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everyone.
Yeah.